Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. I'm doing pretty good. Today I'm going to be talking about the big changes that are coming to our LEGO studio. To preface that, let me explain the, the timeline of events as they're happening now. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same as uploading. Hopefully it'll be pretty close within a week. But anyway, we just got back from our Dude Perfect cruise, the Cruise Perfect. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of great events. Everything went swimmingly. Yeah, we just had an excellent time, but we're pretty tired. That happened earlier this week as of filming this. And now um, we are looking forward to Atlanta BrickCon coming up in just another week, basically. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to have a lot of our friends over. It's going to be a great time. We're actually going to be having people down to the studio, I imagine, to check it out. Because there's a couple people, friends from Utah, some LEGO Master friends, who are going to hopefully be able to see the studio for the first time. And looking around, there are some kind of... Not dated, but definitely some things that could definitely be improved upon. Steven and I wanted to replace a lot of our glass display cases. These uh, tall, um, kind of square ones that we have right now, they're, they're good, but they're just not quite as nice as some of the newer IKEA display cases that we've seen. I think uh, some of our friends have them in their Lego rooms. They look amazing. And so we just want to see if we can upgrade those. They're very wobbly, the ones we have right now. We want them to be more secure, more dust resistant. So we're going to be changing those. Um, we also have a lot more Lego than we used to, right? So seven years ago, our family moved to this house and this studio ended up being taken over. It was my room back in the day. I used to have my bed right down underneath these cabinets and between these bookcases. But my bed, obviously, I don't, I don't stay here anymore. It's just the Lego studio now. There's some furniture changes that need to happen. We used to fit all of our Lego on those two bookcases over there behind me. That was completely adequate seven years ago. Now we have over five times that much Lego. And so we just have tons of pieces, tons of animals, minifigures, accessories, all sorts of stuff that just needs space. So we need to take more advantage of the wall space that we have in this room. It's a big room, but we just need less bookcases and kind of decorative cabinets and more, um, you know, metal shelving for bins of Lego to go on. And we also need a few different tables because the current tables that we've had for the past couple of years, the, the original Ikea tables we got seven years ago are actually still pretty sturdy, but they do warp a little bit. I know that when I made Storst Castle back in, wow, was it 2019? Yeah, multiple years ago in 2019, 2020, that castle warped the crap out of these Ikea tables. We ended up getting a few more to replace the ones that were really badly warped. And then those, warped very quickly. Within about a year, they're all basically bent and almost unusable if you're building Lego mocks on them for any period of time. The size of creations that we used to make seven years ago were usually a green base plate, a gray base plate, pretty uh, small, reasonable creations. Now we build in the feet, you know, five, seven feet, eight feet long, you know, hundreds of pounds. And if you are working on those for months, that'll warp uh, a normal indoor table. So we're gonna try and get some more heavy duty outdoor style tables. We're looking at Home Depot and Lowe's to see what the best option is. We're not sure yet. We do have a size. We're probably gonna go for about six foot tables, maybe roll around more mobile. So yeah, we're gonna try to um, evolve our studio with things that have been working and uh, improve some of the furniture pieces that we have take advantage of some spaces that we do have like back here I'm hoping to put our large Lego Masters castle cliffhanger challenge sign that we got and put that on display over on the wall back there instead of those cabinets and bookshelves which kind of just hold knickknacks they can go elsewhere anyway lots of things happening lots of big pieces moving around hopefully we can document this process and share it with you guys as we're doing it thank you guys for tuning in um, hopefully it'll look really cool I mean we love the studio. It's always been cool to hang out here, but I think that we're going to make it just that much more awesome. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.